hello, hello, and welcome to another Rangaroo cast with me, Rangaroo, and today we're doing a 3v3 on the High Ray 2 Seal. So, on the left hand side, in blue, playing as Blue Hall, we got First Felix, Amram, the Missile, and just Kirk. And on the right hand side, in red, playing as Redfall, we have Zan Kriegor, Chief Youngrul, and Samuel T. Mans. So, as usual, let's speed this up and get things going. I don't want to note. Yeah, this is the 3v3 version of High Ray 2 CL. So we do have this entire new flank on the top hand side. It's pretty much cut off from the rest of the map. But it's a rather important place to hold. And honestly, I'm really glad that they did this. Because now they're using the entirety of the map. And as we speed this up, should get on the ray. There we go. Back to normal speed and are there any planes off the bat? It does not seem so. So Blue 4 having a few helicopters going to be sent now and of course a lot of units down the middle motorway. Well Red 4 actually got quite a few helicopters down here. Two KA-50s, both different models. Some helicopter infantry as well and a so-called as well. And both sides just getting into position. KF-50 is not wanting to get too close to the DAP and she's not going to be landing in some infantry. And he's Gorna Strackley's going to get into his middle part first. A perfect place for Gorna Strackley's is this town. Just a great fire. Great firing lines and pretty much anything that comes too close. But mi 8 is getting a bit too close to some enemy infantry. There they go. Get the rocket off. Going to be stunning them up. As they all bunched up together. And Red 4 has definitely sent a lot of units up top. An awful lot of units. Seems like he's playing a Red Dragon set. Got a tip. Yeah, quite a few tanks here. T90S as well. A blue forward is going to be capping the point and then buying their you know, staff to get up. Which is probably a little bit of a better, faster idea. Just to capture the point. We've got special to not keep going at it for a lot of enemy infantry. They're definitely not going to be surviving the encounter. The Samuel gets infantry into his bottom sector. Some Moskutians. Quite a few Moskutians actually. That's, that's, that's actually a very lot. A lot of Moskutians. In the middle of Echo, things are rather quiet. Nothing really too crazy. Here we have some cluster munitions. Going to be stunning them up. And I don't know what he's doing with his force. He's just kind of spreading them out now. He really just needs to get them into the hotel because... There's nothing really in much in terms of tanks that can stop him. Speed us up a little bit more. And the most beaten judge will hold their ground, but this is just a lot of bounty shakers and Leopard here. Providing some very good fire support. There we go, we've got an F-16 doing a straight and run. An F-5 puff. Puffing up. And then down here in Echo, things are rather quiet. No one really wanting to move up. Really, the main focus right now is in Delta. And Blue 4 doing a really good job pushing Red 4 out. And really, Red 4 doesn't have any tanks up here. It's mainly a lot of infantry. And infantry are good in forest engagements. But having a few fire support tanks up here, some T64s. Would definitely prove to be quite helpful because these Leopard ones are doing a very good job, you know, covering the open ground and shooting the infantry that get exposed. Now, here we go, Red 4 moving up into Hotel, sending their infantry up first, keeping our tanks behind. And they really, they really just want to be very aggressive with their tanks. As now, Blue 4 is getting the stuff there. Uh, and Leopard 2A1s and whatnot. Three Leopard 2A1s into the top part.
And I think Zandy was a little bit slow to the draw if he got his tanks up into his middle shanks or a lot sooner. He could have shot these leopards as they moved down the open road. Superette now going in. And then evac in without even using its run big ass missile. Legion 90 is getting some good shots to deal with the Arax, which is a fantastic ATGM. And Red Force sneaking some infantry into the big ass hill. Blue for our Delta, pretty much under control now. We do finally have some tanks here, some T-72 Rilks, and a T-72 has been brought up. Blue 4 moving down the middle part of the high rate of some Falchagers. Super right now, where are you going? You're going to try and kill a T-90, nah, probably a ZT-85. Hopefully he has to use his missile this time. Poor Chonoma, definitely seems like going for Chonoma. And it misses. That's the joy of using a Super Retinard. Sometimes that missile doesn't want to work. But when it does work, it usually one hit kills most stuff. Which is uh, quite nice. Well, an MLU. I think he's trying to get the rules, but they did lose my side. Some close range quarters, stunning up the boss regions. Both planes just getting knocked out. SU-27M coming in at the right time. The Red Force also wants to make some advances into Echoes and VDVs. Oh, uh, well, the VDVs no longer exist. Because some invisible plane did blow them up. The Blue Force game some more reinforcements in here, some Rangers and M1 IP, M1 IP Abrams. There's BMD3, so you will probably get some good ACGM shots if they get some line in sight. And really, this map is still rather contested. Blue Force do have the lead though, because they have Delta and Hotel under control. Red Force really want to think about getting some CVs into Echo and Delta, try and neutralize these points. This is a really, this is not a no, nice lead to be losing at. But luckily for Red Force, it goes up to 750 points. Don't, don't see at all too often. So they do have quite a bit of time, even on a plus three point advantage to ring. There's a small little infantry engagement. I'm going to speed this up a little bit more. Yeah, both sides being rather passive. Got KA-50s being brought up, SU-27. Just flying around. Using it as an interceptor, but really it's an AT gem plane. Doesn't have any short range missiles. And Redford trying to move some more scrutions into Delta. But, nothing really. They tried to point some trees, managed to cross over the mountains, start going into the whole town. It's a pretty good flank to try and hit it from, especially if they could get ATGM guys. Or really, just here, shoot down. It used to be a, yes, a really bloody good spot for ATGMs. You can just crest over the ridge and you'd be safe. Blue Force bringing up infantry of their own, some commando powers. A little bit outnumbered. And the thing is, Zan, he doesn't want to move down into the hotel because, right, you're going to have to move down this one. Well, he's got these passage rays too. But they're pretty easily defendable choke points. And, you know, some good infantry or some rocket shots could definitely just blow them up as they come down the ridge. Well, Blue Fall, don't want to move up either because open field isn't exactly their best specialty. Delta is just once again a back and forth. But Red Fall have mortars of their own now, some crown asses. Stunning up those Fauchagers. And some Nona's, a lot of Nona's. Trying to get that Chaparral, but they're uh, just a little bit off target. And yeah, right now it's pretty much just a mortar phase. Both sides mortaring back and forth. Just tickling the enemy to death. 
Well, an F-14 Tomcat. Again, a little bit too close, I should admit. I mean, you probably could keep the Tomcat flying over your base. You can still get a lot of kills. You can see it's already firing off its missiles. But if you do use Tomcats, honestly, you want to have two out. Having just run out doesn't really work all that well because you, you do need both missiles to kill a target because they are rather inaccurate. But if you have two Tomcats, uh, they can definitely do quite a bit of damage, especially on a map like this where it's so big. You have such a range of time to do for the enemy. Another puff, you know, getting puffed off. Cluster artillery up top, getting a few good kills, still on the leopard, yeah. And Redford are really starting to get some more heaviest units into Delta. We've got T 72s here. It's just, just mortars right now. <laughs> Nothing really too much to say. We have some smoke, yo. Oh my god, we actually have a push. Let's slow us down to normal speed. So we got some Rika Chinese tanks, but they do have good guns, you've got to admit. We're gonna be moving down here. Some very good smoke barrages. These, these ones is probably the safest place to go down. Over here gonna be a little bit exposed to so, you know, it's only really the legions you have to worry about. I mean, looking at it, we got one Leopard 2, a couple of infantry guys, and Milan's will definitely be a little bit of a pain in the butt. But there's nothing really here in terms of heavy tanks that can, that can stop him. And Red Fort bringing up a lot of stop. Shot them up close. And some infantry guys up here. I mean, they can really just make this work. They have managed to make it down the hill into the foresty swampy area. Tanks aren't going at it. Kill all that for two. And this is exactly what Redfall needs to do right now. They can completely capture Hotel, get CV there, stop getting that nice plus one point advantage. Now we got, oh, finally we got the heavy big guns being brought out. Leopard 2A5. Yo, know, honestly, in this close range engagement, the Chinese and the North Korean tanks have the advantage because they're still going to be able to pen this and still do quite a bit of damage at this short range. And yeah, it's just, it's just one Leopard 2 versus all of this. And going for the Bong Shoes. Bong Shoes, however you say it. But Tiger 2. Nasty may be able to stop his push of just this one lap but two. So for Q5, that was uh, <laughs> uh yeah, okay, that's how you stop a push right, yeah. But um, um did bring up a Leclerc just in time to replace Leopard 2 spot, but it might go in the ray of a dodo once again. Taking up position where his uh, German brother died. Down here, down in Delta, Redford really starting to make advances. There's lots of Moskutans once again. I think what's really allowing Redford to, well, while they're pushing back now, they were building up a lot more forces compared to Blue Four. And they have these heavier tanks, especially down here. The real for FCLVs and Leopard Ron Drive, we've got some real some, some very nice OTGM stuff from Red Bull. And of course Moscution too, we don't want them extra Moscutions. So yeah, if Delta and Hotel come under complete control of Red Bull, it's gonna be a very nice plus three advantage to all gen. And the owner's going at it trying to stun up out killing Patriot, very good kill. You know, Bald Eagle probably just cried seeing that AAU unit go down. And Redford doesn't seem like uh, stopping anytime soon. They're going straight into Gove, trying to capture his forest first, or a smart idea. And they are just, they really just have the momentum right now. I mean, Bluefoot, they don't, they don't really have much. This is some infantry guys and some mortars in Gove. And 
And this is a lot of mortars still, just loads of mortars. I think it's actually proper artillery down here. Yeah, m 109s Just some cheap medium artillery. Mirage SF. Dropping in some bombs. This is going to be a very good hit here. Yeah, see, never mind. Only stun them up. If it was a little bit up top, you know, in this area of the forest, probably got a few more kills. But now Red Ford are moving into his town, and there's nothing really much here that can stop the infantry. I mean, the Milan F3s are going to get some good kills and some armor, but uh, nothing really in just. <laughs> They're going to be clustering the town, because why not? Even though there's nothing really too cluster. I see hitting his own tanks. Yeah, Red 4 pretty much just completely captured Delta. Only a small little force here from Blue 4. And they're finally starting to bring up some heavy tanks down here. H.A. Abrams. And it's a T-90S. Still the same run from the start of the match. And now Red 4 moving up. They're gaining so many points. If they get CV on go, that's going to be a plus 5. Honestly, it's just a good game to Red 4. Turning up HA down here. And just look at the amount of tanks that they have. T-72s, T-55s, T-62s. Just so trodies. So many tanks. And this is how you come back as Red Ford. Just get a lot of tanks. As if you look at Blue Ford, it didn't really have all that many. Well, you got some SCRV 105s, which is just some Centaurians. But nothing really heavy. You got two MI-28, why not? And the Red Ford is going to be mopping this up. I'm just going to speed this up all the way. Even going to be moving up in the Fox Shot, clearing that out. And yet, will be a good game. Red Ford taking the victory, coming back after that, you know, rather dangerous early game, getting a 3,000, uh, 2,700 kill advantage. Yeah, damn. Sam Krieger really getting in a lot of bloody points here. But yeah, it was a good match from both sides. Blue 4 definitely had the advantage in the early game. Really holding down Delta with quite a few infantry. You know, Leopard support tanks definitely helped with dealing with Moskutsons. I think Zan up top still could have been a little bit faster into that middle point. Because he did give it up to Blue 4 and they allowed him to capture... But in Red Force defense, they did manage to rebuild a lot of forces, mainly lots and lots and lots of tanks, and then move up and destroy Blue Fall, because Blue Fall didn't really have that many heavy tanks. They're relying on cheaper medium cell tanks and their planes to, you know, deal with the armor. But yeah, it's just pretty good stuff, yeah. Get tanks over Realm, and that's a pretty good tank map. High Ray 2 CL, you got the perfect amount of cover and the perfect amount of open ground to have line of sight on enemy ground targets. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. This has been another Rangaroo cast. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as usual, please just take it easy.